Alright everyone, it is, oh for the love of god, <laughs> it is another live narration here, Coltior, and we've got a good matchup straight away, Regirock from Jabba the Griffin against C's Tyranitar lead, Jabba on the right, C on the left, Jabba clearly not afraid to bring the, <laughs> the BLs, because he brought Scizor earlier this uh, round. And it's gonna superpower here, just take out the tar turn one. Jesus Christ. <laughs> let's, let's put that on. Jeez, music's terrible. Alright, no music. We roll. <laughs> Didn't have time to get it set up live, but we've got it anyway. Yeah, I've used Regirock a good bit myself, and Superpower, Counter, Boom, T-Wave. It's got some good tools here. And, well, I didn't use it with Skarmory, but here we are. Uh, yeah, C definitely known for bringing the unusual stuff himself. He brought stuff like CM Bliss and Hydro Mixments last round, where he beat Asta. And, well, he's certainly getting... Out janked here with the Charizard. <laughs> Focusing on the game though, Meta's gonna switch out of Skarm here. Doesn't look like CB damage. And Zard's gonna get revealed. It's actually checked really well by the Regirock, unless it's got something like, I don't know, Focus Punch here would do a good amount of damage. And never mind, HP Grass is gonna do a ton. Is that Modest Zard maybe, or is it just really low bulk on the Regirock. Well, Hidden Power is not going to do much into the Blissey, I can tell you that. We're we going to see a beat up, or just a straight switch out to Lax. Eats Ice Beam, going to do approximately nothing. Could see something like Curse here to handle the Skyrim a bit better, but no, we're going to see a Focus Punch, and that wipes Tyre off the face of the planet. And he's going to be able to pressure Skarm a good bit here if it's not Drill Peck as well. Instead he opts to go to Doll though, so Spikes are going to get removed. And Doll eats a Drill Peck but no Toxic, so that's, it's looking pretty good for C, tied 5-5 five, five here. And he gets Zard back in on the Spikes, so we'll see if it has any real way to punish the Blissey coming in. Sub again, sure. I'm expecting Focus Punch with Sub, but it is not a guarantee. Well, there it is. Focus. Not going to one-shot it from here, but a nice 62. So, a bit of a tough turn here, whether you recover for Jabba or just try and switch and heal it later. He does recover, but Zard's now in Blaze range, so Focus into... Uh, Fire Blast should KO. Oh yeah, especially at 67. And clearly the players are a bit ahead, but... Oh my god. Well, there goes the Retrock. It's gonna die to that Blaze Fire Blast, so I'd say it is... Definitely not very bulky. Uh, and Jabba misclicks, apparently. Which is tragic, because it means his Bliss is gonna get knocked out. And suddenly C has a massive advantage, 5-3. to three. Char Charizard is chipped, sure, but that just means it's going to do even more damage with Fire Blast. And, well, Sub Arrow could be good here, because it means he can hit the meta and the doll without locking into Earthquake. But it also means you don't have Choice Band damage right away, which... Means Meta is not really fear and taking one earthquake. And here's Mash, so Skyrim's gonna wall it, sure, but can't actually hit Meta much. And especially with that Mash raise, it's gonna be taken quite a bit. So roars it out and takes 50%, doesn't get any layers. Here comes Lax, who we know has Focus Punch. Just stops to Body Slam instead. See, maybe predicting Drill Peck there. And it's back to Doll. Timer not really showing this series. Moving very fast. Jabba does roar the Doll out. Back to meta. Mash again on, yep, a roar. So the attack raise does not matter. 
Yeah, it's it's still hard not to like C's position here. Let's go back to Dahl. He is trying to get this spin off, and no roar there it means he should get it. I'm thinking his last for C is probably going to be something like a DD Mentz. Something that can really capitalize on the chip that Zard and Lax are going to be doing. But remains to be seen. Could be something like a water. Yep, there we go. There's Starmie. And if it's off star, it's honestly looking pretty threatening. Thunderbolt not quite going to KO the Skarm. And yeah, Thunderbolt did 35, so that is an off star. Wait, 35? Oh, no, it isn't. It has recover. Never mind. My head calc's a little off there, folks. Drill pack crit, sure, but Stammy's gonna get right back up there. And Jabba reveals his last to be meta. And Jilla meta at that, which is... Well, C's meta is still at really high health and has leftovers, so... Well, he's not even gonna kill the Stammy, so... Let's not even talk about the meta. Yeah, I don't really see how Jabba wins here. Wouldn't surprise me if the game is already over in real time. I guess he could miss mash and get behind a sub with a leechy boost. That would work. Always a chance with arrow anyway because it can flinch so often, but it's gonna be hard to flinch past the doll and the meta. And C has not missed once with these mashes. And arrows out of uh, subs. So it's going straight for the EQ and C just goes to Claydol. Not even risking it. Rockslide does get a crit flinch, luckily for Jabba. So that's one poke he doesn't have to deal with anymore. Here's meta, but it's at full, so it is easily going to be able to take this Earthquake. 75, and Mash hits once again. And here's the paralyzed Skarmory. It's probably just going to die to Mash or Boom here. Mash, Raise, Roar. And here's Lax to finish the job. Bop, Body Slam, dead. Crit, don't think even mattered. And that's game one, folks. Some hmm. That misclick from Jabba was really... Well, it was pretty big, but with how low Blissey was, I'm not sure it was that big, because it only would have been able to heal against what? Like, the... I wouldn't have been able to heal against everything. Everything's either faster, or it's the Snorlax, who's slower, but can just body slam, focus punch, boom, whatever. So yeah, that's... That's tough. I've tried to make Regirock work a lot, and this is honestly a pretty good uh, squad with it, with Arrow, but... Yeah, it didn't quite work out here, which is tragic. Still, good squad from C as well. I think it, uh, I think it is an off uh, star, and it's just recover over spin. I'm gonna calc that actually, because it felt like that drill pack was doing a lot. Skarm versus Starmy. Drill pack. Yeah, that's definitely an offensive recover Starmy. Uh, we've seen that combo a few times, I don't know if we've seen it before, but, or if we've seen it in CI6 before, but we've seen it in some places, like Star used it in SPL and all that. The, uh, Claydol spins, so off Star can run recover combo, and I really like it, it helps with, it helps against meta and other random hits that you can take against teams that try and just trade with off star instead of having a dedicated answer. It's a it's a really good combo. Especially with Zard uh, focus punching bliss, you can get a really you can get a really good combo going against special off or against special walls there. So yeah. Alright, I really I'm quite a fan of both players' teams, honestly. And if you're wondering why I'm just filling time, it's because this is, of course, live, so game two has not started yet. Both players are probably just taking a break, getting a glass of water, clearing their heads, all that good stuff. It's honestly, it's it's good to clear your head after a game uh, in the middle of a set, especially if you've lost, because the nerves can really get to you at this level. It's It's a big thing. 
It's This is a winner's bracket match, so whoever loses will not be eliminated, of course, but I'm sure getting a bye next week will be very much appreciated for round three. And, yeah, both players obviously really want that, so they're taking the time to think about their teams and all that. Hmm. What else can I talk about? Didn't actually get to see the tar set from C. Uh, or from Jabba, I think. Yeah, no, both tires kind of just died instantly, funnily enough. Also didn't get to see much of the Regirock set, but... I imagine it was CB, because it didn't reveal lefties, and it didn't look like it had much bulk at all. So yeah, CB Regirock's good, because uh, you can just rock slide Skyrim down instead of using Mag. And enough fill in time. Here is game two, ladies and gentlemen. And the lead matchup is very different and very much more favorable for C. We've got Zapdos versus Milotic. Obviously, unless Milotic has something crazy like Miracote, it'll lose this. And C just opts to Thunderbolt into the Lax. Does a good chunk, but it won't stick without Sand. Here comes Gar, it'll take the Body Slam, obviously for zero, but it's going to miss the Will-O-Wisp and just barely hang on after a Shadow Ball. That is tough for C there. He is going to still opt to Wisp again, sack his Gar to the second Shadow Ball, but this could get tough. Gar is usually a great way to pressure Milo teams, so losing it early there is... Really pretty huge for Jabba. Now C does have sand, luckily, so that damage is going to start really sticking to the lax. Even if this is only a suit tire, it'll definitely win the 1v1. And we see it's probably not a suit tire that reveals Rock Slide. And we see it's an interesting team for sure. We've got a Roselia here, folks. It's a good thing Callus isn't narrating this game, because he would be fuming right now. And it's normally going to be very good against Milo, but with Ice Beam, it's actually taken a ton here. See, opting to just Stun Spore, sure, but he is going to die to that next Ice Beam. <coughs> Sorry, folks. Well, he gets a spike up as Selby switches in. Might be some kind of CM set trying to boost up on it. It's actually a Swords Dance set trying to boost up on it. Passes to Gyarados. Let's go. The best mod in the tier, Gyarados, folks. And plus two attack, it's going to be really threatening here. Unless it gets boomed on, but it doesn't. It gets rock slid instead. That's... Oh, shit. That's tough for Jabba. And Mag's going to come in, sure, but it's not CB Gross, so it is going to live. It's going to agility, actually. This, this game could be over already, folks. Depending on Jabba's last, which should be a rock resist, but if it's something like Doug to support a curse lax, then yikes. Yeah, Jabba's last is probably his own meta, if I have to guess, which obviously isn't great against a Jilla meta. So, yeah, C could be running away with the game here, folks. It's uh, technically even at 4-4, four to four, but... I think his position's quite a bit better, especially because Mag's coming in on that Zapdos, and it's getting to it KO'd by T-Bolt with the spike down. Here's Celebi. Is Zapdos going to have anything like Roar or Drill Pack to try and prevent the pass? It is slower, so it could have Roar, but it does actually have Drill Pack, so that's a really fast uh, SD Celebi to outspeed the Zapdos here. Recover on T-Wave, so... No longer going to be faster than the Zapdos, and we'll get at least one more Drill Peck off before the pass. And we do see BP into meta. There it is. Remains to be seen what C's last is. It could be a lot. Thunderbolt on agility. Thunderbolt not even going to 2 it KO here. This could be tough. You see Tar coming in. Going to, yeah, die as fuck to mash. It's at plus 2. Oh, but Pert last is definitely going to be able to get there. 
Yep, Meta's dying to EQ. Celebi's at 7%. Might not even have a grass move to take this part out. Just recovers on Ice Beam, sure, but it's going to have to spam recover and not get frozen or crit. And yeah, what's the Milo at? I mean, 88 and Parod. It's not going to be doing much against the Meta who can boom or the... Actually, the Meta can't boom. It's Agility Slide, but still. <sighs> the Zapdos can finish things up pretty easy here. Especially if Celebi gets any kind of hacks at all. Hasn't gotten any yet, and I'm going to skip a little bit here so we don't miss game three. Ice Beam, Ice Beam, Ice Beam, and we're going to switch out to Milo, sure. Oh, but Swampert's Curse, so Milo is not going to be a great answer to this either. Yeah, the game is pretty much done, folks. Well, Milo does have Hypnosis, at least, for the Pert, but... Probably won't knock it out in time, and Earthquake... I guess with Marvel scale, Earthquake's not doing that much. Only 37 at plus 2, but still... Yeah. A couple full paras later, and the Pert is just gonna wrap it up. <coughs> Damn. Well, that's a series, actually. That was... Hmm, that was an interesting team from Jabba. I really like SD Pass here. And the offense of Milotoclead is... I don't think I've ever seen Milo, or that Milo sentence, an SD pass. And it's a pretty good idea, honestly. Helps with, uh, you could maybe take a Swampert to sleep or something, or get a lot of chip on meta. Could, could end up really good there, but just wasn't the right set for this matchup. C obviously bought a fucking... Roselia, which normally would be more of a focal point, but didn't even do much here. <coughs> yeah, C really just felt in control this second game. Not a a pretty good matchup, and he just rode it to success, especially after the Gera died. It kind of all went downhill from there. So yeah, I'm going to stop rambling now, folks, and... That would be, that should be the last round two match for uh, CI6. Jabba's going to go to the lower bracket for round three, and C is going to make it all the way to round four. So I will see you next week, folks, and have a good day.